Hi everyone. Well, I have my oven apart again. Uh, my oven stopped working again. Uh, not sure if you've seen my other video about fixing my oven, but a little over three years ago, I think November of 2013, my oven stopped working. So in my last video, I took this controller out and I took it apart and it ended up being a burned out solder joint under one of these relays. So I'm not sure if it's the same problem or a different problem, but I'm going to take this controller apart again and try to figure out what the problem is. So I'm going to show you how I take this apart. So you first have to pop out these tabs that you see on the side here. So I'm going to do that real quick. So you take a screwdriver and grab one, of, one edge of one of the tabs and just push it up until it pops out. As you see there, and I'll do that with the other one as well. See? So I pop those out. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. Let's get in there with the screwdriver and pop it open. There we go. There's one. And get your finger there and do the other one. Now we have to take the board, this board, away from the edges so that we can we can turn it up and look at the bottom. So first I'm going to do this side. I'm just going to pull the plastic away or just pull it off, like you just saw there. <laughs> look, it doesn't look like anything broke. It looks like it'll go back in, but that just comes off easy. So it makes my, my job a little bit easier over on the other side here. Pull that off as well. Now what I need to do is I need to pry up. Let me just get this off here. There we go. Looks like it's coming. Pull this away. There we go. Much easier. And we just pry this board up so we can see the bottom of the relay and I can tell right away that it's the same problem I had three years ago it looks like that relay burned out again so let me just get this away from the there we go it's coming out it's coming out there we go there easy okay now we just bend that up now we can see right there Alrighty, as you can see here, I resoldered that burned out joint and I actually went through and, and redid these as well uh, to make sure that they're not a problem. But this time it was a different one. First time it was this one and second time it was this one. So hopefully I don't have to deal with this again. Now I'm going to pop everything back together and I'll put it back in the oven. One thing I wanted to mention was, I don't know if you can see this uh, in the video or not, but there's these metal standoffs back here that actually tie the two boards together. And just be really careful when you're pulling the boards apart that you don't break them off. Uh, be really gentle when you're putting it back together. Okay, I have the controller put back on the oven and I plugged all of the cables back in. So now it is the moment of truth. I'm gonna see if uh, my fix actually fixed the problem I was having. One thing I failed to mention in my first video is when you're taking your oven apart, at least in the case of my oven, uh, I only had to remove the top metal panel. You see it sitting there against the, the side of the cabinet. But I only had to undo the screws for the top panel and then pull it up and take it off. You don't have to undo the, the bottom panels that you see here. All right, so I fired up the oven and we're already at 290. So I think that was the problem. So I saved myself another two thousand dollars because you can't buy these controllers anymore and that's how much it costs to replace this oven. <laughs>